still got no winners on my kilo of boilies, the prize in my last video. Where's the link? Click on that link. Comment what's in my sandwich. <laughs> you could win a kilo of boilies. See my face. <laughs> I've hiked halfway up the lake and then back to here where I was earlier. Just heard from the bailiff. Somebody was catching fish from this swim. <sighs> so this is it. Here's my three rods. Ready rigged up from home to make it easier for when I get here. This is rod number one. Got a homemade rig, what I made myself. Homemade kicker with a bit of shrink tube and a bait screw with a pop-up. And this is on a one of those called a safe helicopter rig thing in my jobs. Bucket of bait, tigers, pellets, boilies, squid scope X, my usual. Bank stick there, a buzzer there. This swim, I'm going to put a single rod. I'm going to put a bed of bait out in front of this bush. It's quite deep there, drops away fairly well. You can imagine the fish coming in this bay, cruising, just following it round, 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 round. What happens? They come from the other end of the lake, so they follow. Sometimes they they cruise the middle go over to the rushes this side occasionally they must follow this bank follow this ledge before it shallows up so fingers crossed jumbo tiger nut hook bait surely that's got to nab me one look at that bad boy they cannot resist that tiger hopefully I've never met such a friendly pigeon he just keeps following me, coming right up close. <laughs> yeah. Bitch, bitch. He's got two, he's got tags on his feet. He's got like, is he a homing pigeon or something that's used to people? He's got two tags on one ankle and an orange tag and a red tag on one ankle and a green tag on the other. But he just flew down like he was my mate. This is a stringer for anyone who's never used them. Maybe younger fishermen stick to uh, PVA bags or solid bags. This is a quick way of getting some bait out. A ranger hook bait. PVA string. I just tie a loop at each end, one there. There's a loop at that end. And just hook it on your hook. Sling it out there. I'm gonna give this a go. I'm hoping it will travel quite a distance to the furthest bank all right what I've done as you can see the slack line I've cast at a distance with a PVA bag on as far as I can get not a million miles from the far bank but close, well, close enough <laughs> that's the only choice I've got and because it's such a distance as I tighten this like that it's gradually, because of my cast and it's a bit breezy, the line bowed. I've sunk the line, but it's still settling. So what happens? You have slack line, you just keep tightening it up. Bobbing keeps dropping slowly until eventually it settles down like that, hopefully. I'll show you this rod. 
here we are PVA on my Ronnie rig massive pair of lead gonna hit it as far as possible Pigeon keeps following me watch when I walk away from the camera I'll bet you it follows me well here's me thinking that I'd have a peaceful time fishing all by myself <laughs> he just won't go away well I think I'm finally set up and sorted ready for the night and I think I've actually put the bivvy up correct for the first time ever I've even got the ground sheet up the right way Well this session isn't going to be like my last video where I'm quite sure that I'm going to catch one. <laughs> it's going to be difficult. A bit of a journey for me and for you if you're following these videos. Ooh. Just to catch my first carp out of this lake will be quite an achievement there goes the pigeon again it's really strange that's got to be a homing pigeon he wouldn't be so friendly otherwise he keeps coming right up he won't let me touch him or feed him he won't even eat bread or the pellets or nothing but he just comes really close within a foot or two and go, looks right at me like what he wants to be my mate. One. This is one job I thought I'd do. See the bramble. Imagine that around your ankles in the middle of the night. Yes, and this massive one which would shred. Oh, that's a tough one. Oof. That would shred my ankles in the night. Ah. Job done. Clear path. Safe ankles. Check it out. There's quite a lot there. So we go. Mm -mm. That's nice. Graham, everyone must know Graham. Totally awesome fishing. New video, good timing, Graham. I can watch you while I'm waiting for carp. What's that? Can you hear something? He's back. Well, it's only 8.42 and look how dark it is. What is it, August the 25th or something? The nights are drawing in already. Even Graham's blinking. You can tell it's a quiet day because he's, he, he's filming the wildlife, look. <laughs> Squirrel's chucking stuff down on top of him. Chewing up nuts and spitting them on him. <laughs> Morning, folks. I wasn't disturbed by the rods, I'm afraid. 
Oh well. Let's make a cuppa and have a think about what to do next. With these Advanta kettles, all the companies do it now, but with that gap at the bottom, it kind of makes it slightly raised off of the flame. And if you put exactly one cup of water in, that, it, look, it's so quick, it boils in about a minute. As long as you don't overfill it. Rapid, rapid cup of tea. Well that's a nice sight waking up. All these lot are up and about before me. I was a bit lazy. I laid in bed for a bit. Just because I can't sleep through the night really well. So I thought I'd make the most of it. Have a lay in. Have a slow start. Enjoy my cup of tea. This rod. I heard one beep from it through the night, but nothing more. Such a good looking spot, just... <laughs> I've got a point with my cup of tea. Just around this bush. Let's put a new hook bait on. It's been out there all night. Let's put a fresh one on with a bit of... smell and flavour in it. Do ready. What's that? Oh look who's turned up. He's so cheeky. Guess what? I've not caught a fish. I'm moving swims. I'm getting there. This will be the new swim. I've just seen something topping, bang in the middle, so just got to bring my bivvy down and then we'll investigate. Here we go. I've moved one swim down towards the more narrow end of the lake. Why didn't I do that yesterday? Anyway, that distance is castable. Please, please. I just want to catch my first carp out of this lake. I'm happy now. I've got something to cast to at last. Salted, that was an upheaval. Barra, rods are out. You might say I'm feeling a bit more optimistic. Double net, unlocking map. So finally, rods are out, and I'm happy with every one of them. Ooh, go on. Left rod, halfway across this channel, spotted, not spotted, put out quite a bit of boily and pellets, so that's a good spot. Middle rod, it's aiming, sorry, there, just down from the red thing on the side. Uh, PVA, that's all I can do. Aim for the bank on the other side. Right hand rod, similar. Aiming for the bank as far as I could chuck it. Happy, happy. It feels so much better this swim, you know. I feel, I feel at home. <laughs> it's weird. Look. Oh, Bivy's up there. I can imagine me in the middle of the night, half asleep, trying to jump. I'm going to jump down that bank, like commando. Arnold Schwarzenegger roll. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a dive off the top of the bank into a commando roll, land here like this, strike into a 30 or a 40 or more likely a bream. But I don't care. I want to fish. Well, I've just put my commando trousers on, ready for action. Diving down the bank, commando roll, grab the rods. What up? Well, that's not the real reason. It's because I got chilly legs last night when I was trying to sleep. If I get a run, it'll feel like 
something out of a dream. When I mean, you've been on the lake for two days and not had one nibble, not one little touch, it feel like a. Ooh, hello. I'll just recast that one. I weren't happy with it. I wanted it closer to the bank. Bosh! And that's where it is. Closest I could get. Need a bait boat. Has anyone got a bait boat they want to sell? Somewhere down here in the darkness of my free rods. <laughs> I'm just waiting for one of them to light up and catch me a fish. Looks very carpy along the far bank. I'd be amazed if I don't get anything. And if I do, I'll be over the moon. Oh, kettle's dumped. You know what? Tonight, last night was fairly warm. Tonight is the first night where the temperature's dropped a fair bit, so I've had to actually put a jumper on and my trousers. The nights are drawing in. I've got a session on where am I going to Elfix Prayer no Elfix, one of the lakes at Elfix in October, so I imagine the nights will be even chillier there. Then right. Let's have a cup of tea to warm myself up. Jump in the bag. I just had a screamer. First ever carp from this lake. It's quite an achievement. It's not easy at all. Let's have a look at him. Here we are. My first carp from my membership water, big lake. Here we are. First fish out of this lake carp wires and it's a double let's have one more quick look at the one the one and only before he goes back it's quite a golden colour look at that his tail as big as my hand or bigger than my hand I'm chuffed. That's what I came out to do. Get my first carp out of this lake. <laughs> He's full of life. He's desperate to get back. Come on. Head up. Head up. Off you go. I did it! Whew, at last! Celebrate! Cheers everyone! Managed to catch my first carp. Oh, finally! It's not easy at all. A fella caught a carp recently and it took him 30, 30 sessions to, <laughs> to actually get that first carp of his. This is my... I don't know, maybe my fourth time on this lake this year, so fourth trip, first carp ever. I'm really happy with that. Um, and let's hope some more come along, eh? I can share them with you guys. <laughs> this is really hard to film. Just had a take, I hooked it. Trying to reel in. Doesn't feel like anything major at all. It's probably a bream. It's got to be a bream, it's not doing anything. Alright, it's right close in. Let's get it set up. <laughs> it's a feisty bream. 
Oh, it's pulling. This is actually fighting quite hard for a bream. What's going on? This bream means business. Don't you go near my other line, bream. Let me land him. Bream are crazy. Look at him, fighting like a nutter. Then, do they play dead or what? What do they do? They pretend, don't get me out of the water, I'm dead. Go up the right way, you nutter. You're not dead. Stand up. <laughs> See, you're fine. Nothing wrong with you. <laughs> that was so close. You nearly knocked my camera over. See that? Let's start again. Bream, you're so jizzy. He's all right. Pretty big. I'll be happy if I was a match fisherman. I'll be over the moon. I've waited two and a bit days to catch a fish, so I might as well show you a mate, even if it is a slimer. Oh, my net's filth. Away you go. Off you go, fella. Thanks for sliming me up. Well, that's it, folks. I'm about to reel in. I haven't had that happen for a long time. Years back when you're resting your rods down, just about to pack away, and then one of them tears off. It's a lovely sound here in the bait runner without the buzzer. Time to go home. It's been a success. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I need subscribers. God, that sunshine's beaming. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you all soon. How did I get all that on the barra?